the squad, making sure we all win. Smoke a lot, radio, we going all in. Zilla, I'm the host with the most smoke. Rolling up the most dope, Kato got the most dope. Simone Taylor, keep it sexy for the grown folks. I'm OG, tone low, bouncing on them ghost folks. Smoke, we the number one podcast. Some other shows, all trash, Amber Rose, all ass. Broadcasting live from the coast. Sick committee with the jokes, come and get your ass broke. <laughs> All right, man, let's get to the uh, the elephant in the room, man. Uh, I, I, I swear it to the kid. So we don't make it. <laughs> yeah, man, it's town business right now, yeah. nigga. It Period, could be man. So else. <laughs> my nigga, man, my, my, bruh, anyway, man, our motherfucking uh, parent company was doing a series called The Whole Truth. And um, an episode came out where it was about the uh the, the loony situation the true down situation the cnh situation and it was everybody different points points of views mm -hmm. so um that caused a lot of you know what i mean uh uh trauma not trauma but a lot of you know what i mean funk we don't want funk coming back from old school ass interviews when niggas is telling a point of view from what happened back then so um it, it caused a lot of problems you know what i mean period so we got short and we got too short. I mean, we got short and we got Drew down and we got me on this motherfucker to really tell what to do, what to do, and really to bust it down. You know what I mean? Like the real truth. You know what I mean? You hearing it from us, man. So, um, Joe and uh, Drew, man, uh, what, what y'all want to say about this situation, man? Because I got I got a text from from short. You know what I mean? Like the interview was out of pocket, man. So, you know. I was just telling Drew before y'all jumped on, we jumped on before all y'all, and I was telling Drew that, I mean, you, we know what it is, nigga, like, nigga, if you, when the first thing you said, we got on, yeah, if you ain't a, if you can't talk no shit, you cannot possibly be a town nigga. If you can't run that shit back to back with another shit talking ass nigga, just real shit talking and make that shit loud and clear to everybody in the room, you're not a real town nigga. So you gotta be able to talk that shit on the spot. Talking so, I don't fault nobody. I I talk that town shit too. Now you catch me on a good one one night. I'm gonna be talking some real wild ass town shit. They gonna be like that nigga is not did all that, that nigga, nigga that shit. Uh. That shit real town life. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I just I just I was watching the shit, bro. Now I know, nigga, from before, from before, uh, the rap songs came out when it before Chris Hicks came and put the put the albums out and did the Looney Project, did the Drew Down Project. Before that, Chris was my homie. Like, this nigga was my homie, like up under Ted, all that shit. You got Ted, Ollie, you got Mark yeah. King, DNA, all these niggas around. But I'm running with Chris a lot on the one-on-one. -on -one. We, we, Chris the nigga that I'm like, nigga, let's go turn up. We at the club on Tuesday night, Thursday night, we busting down to the event in LA. He was the nigga that was ready for the, for the movement. Ted then was a little more conservative, on they moves like that, but nigga, we wild out. So all shit aside, the day, the the day we always talk about with the pizza shit, that was never a day of a battle of any kind of friction. That was the homie pulling up, the nigga talking shit, nigga, my rabbit love we're tight. We you know we the same shit. Oakland niggas would talk on the corner in the fucking domino table, wherever the fuck we at, talking that shit. The pizza shit was all fun shit. That shit was nothing about. That shit was nothing about. What was it? What piece of shit? I know you say you don't know the piece of shit, but it's just a story that keep coming over and over again. And niggas left out the room, uh, one hundred percent with respect for each other. Yo, yo, yo. The let story. me land on this. <clears throat> let me land on this. So, so I know you say that 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 CNA. I didn't know. I came up the stairs and it's like rap. I didn't even get to properly meet you, my nigga. So I'm thinking that you sick niggas on us. It could be, you know it could I mean? be, this, this, it could be me telling Chris, I got rappers, you got rappers, but that's some town shit. Or however, right. that so, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. this is my but first time. What I'm making is this is homies talking though. Right, right, right. We in the house, we at our spot together. Yo spot, yo yeah, spot. We together though, like nigga, we ain't like, hey, how y'all doing, homie? Now, we long time homies. 
But my thing is this. I thought I was just coming there to see Drew down, meet Drew down, and it turned into some other yeah. shit. And then the rapper Ron was a nigga that I knew from junior high school. Mm-hmm. Me and them, you know, all of us went to I'm junior young. high school together. So rapper yeah. Ron was the dopest nigga I back know. then. Numb and them was the dopest niggas. Like we was in school with, with fucking um the Who Riders. A lot of niggas went to our junior high school, but Numb and them was turning it up with Kevin Choice, the nigga that, that played the piano for Erica Badu, everybody. You know what I mean? So Kevin Choice was part of our crew. So niggas was running circles around you. So when I got rapper Ron, I underestimate the nigga. Like this is the same nigga at junior high school that we was rapping circles around. You know what I mean? And I was a I was a whack nigga back then. Numb and them was dope. So I was a, he probably looked at me like, ah, oh, this that whack nigga. Rap around was better than me back then. You know what I mean? So I see the nigga like I'm, I, I got better. I stepped it up. So when I seen him, you know what I mean? I'm rapping show. I'm rapping against three niggas, bro. <laughs> I'm rapping against three niggas, bro. It ain't just me and rapping Ron. It's, it's deadly. It's fucking Eclipse, which I learned was my cousin further along the game because of the gov. You know what I mean? I learned that Eclipse was my cousin, but I didn't know that was my cousin right there. So I'm battling my cousin, rapping Ron and Aunt Dilly. Now, Aunt Dilly did an interview and said he wasn't there. Short, Aunt Dilly was there, right? Damn sure was. He might not right. remember. He was so there too. To say, I wasn't there, nigga. He trying to act like he'd, I'll I rap and Dilly Dog Eclipse and it was just me and rapping around at the end, right, sure? It was It was the last, last, the last round. Hold on. Hey, right. right, hold on, hold on. Before yeah. all that though, you know, I was there before they even got there. That's when I made Pimp of the Year. Yeah, I when I made Pimp of the Year. When you first came around, Drew, Chris brought you around and said, this is my little nigga that sell dope with me. Right. <laughs> he rap, he rap right. That's how you came. He said, this is little, he be on the turf grinding, but he flowed. That's how you came around. Exactly. That's exactly how I came around. Yeah. Feel me? But hey, what I'm saying is when he brought me to Dangerous Music, you feel me? I wrote the pimp of the year there and I laid it one time. I didn't even get a chance to, that's when I got mad. That's when everything kind of got fucked up with me and Ann Bates and y'all. Hold on, so we talked I, about this. So, so look, said, I don't, Banks so look. a bodybuilder back then. He said, Banks, this nigga, Drew Dale, did not say fuck you, nigga. You bring the truck back. Banks, 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 I said Banks, Banks was busy. Muscles, I didn't give a fuck about no muscles back then, nigga. You feel I, me? So look, I don't know. I talked to Ann Banks. He don't, I, nigga, I don't know your <laughs> Ann Banks one-on-one um, interaction. I don't know everything y'all did one-on-one, but I do know, bro, that every time we ever was in the vicinity of our spot, our studio, us, Chris, we around, we upstairs, we downstairs, in the front of the building, the house, nigga, it was never, ever un- any anger. You and Ann Banks had a friction moment. That's Y'all lived that life. But between yeah, that was just right then and there, though. That the was just right there. I was in, and then it was never no yelling or nobody had it mad and not man. That should never happen in the building. Nah, it the, didn't happen in the building. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know because I I didn't. I, I'm always on hold that. On, hold on, man. Let, let's get this right, man. Did you sick rapid run on Drew down, bro? <laughs> That's what I was about to get to because I was doing <laughs> first. And you oh, feel no, me? man, Drew Down said you Chris. sit rapping hey. around on a nigga, bro. Did you I didn't rap around artist. on Drew Down, nigga? I was Chris Artist, right? So uh, I guess Reverend Ryan, I guess Short sure wanted to see if nigga was getting down because you know that's the house of rappers. We we there. You feel me? So when, when Reverend Ryan came, <laughs> Y'all got Ryan this song, man. freestyling. Look, 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 he started freestyling. <laughs> I said, man, I don't freestyle. I don't do none of that shit. You feel me? Hey, let me get let me get out the big picture. Just the big picture. So we got this house. We some East Oakland niggas, and we got Randy Austin from the West. He's from Acorns and shit. So we got the pass to be in the West with the studio because that's Randy, Jerry. That's where they from. And them niggas don't even know that. You know that's that. I'm still with Dean Hodges family. Them it's the same. You know extension of 75 girls. I'm still with the fam. So we got a little West Oakland spot. We in a little ass two bedroom house. We then took one of the bedrooms and made it a studio. And right and outside that bedroom, right room, quick. it ain't yeah, nothing but right quick. Yeah, this is the tiniest little, little tiny little apartment situation you want. We in that motherfucker. And again, everything that walked in that building was straight family, bro. Fam. Like we was on some, I got Goldie. I got Father Dom coming through. I got Aunt Banks. 
I got Pooh Man coming through at first. Then mm -hmm. I end up with these little niggas rapping Ron and Aunt Diddly Dog. Rapping Ron and Aunt Diddly Dog step in the building. They the new fresh shit. Mm -hmm. Pooh Man was mad at us. They made the song with me and Pooh Man talking about talking shit about Pooh Man. <laughs> get in where you fit in. And the nigga Ron would always be freestyling and and just he could freestyle nigga like incredible ass shit like on the spot everything in the fucking room. You know Richie Richie used to do that shit too. Yeah, and call everything out. Yeah, I know. So we always tell niggas, nigga. I'm telling you, nigga, it's in me from the core, nigga. So we Chris, Chris Hicks is the essence of shit talking, loud, spitting, shaking his hair. Nigga, you gotta scream to be in the room with him. You ain't in the conversation if you ain't screaming back at him. So, so nigga, as soon as he, Chris pull up, he pull up, he got a new car, he got out the shop. He like, wait a little bit, he go, none of you niggas can't fuck with my car, but I got the cleanest car, I'm on my, he start jumping around, you like, nigga, your shit got a funny ass color, nigga, we don't even like your car, but it's the nigga still. Well, right. I all y'all nigga, nigga, look at my rims, nigga, my feet, huh? He be yelling, am I, am I making this up? Nope. He yelling, jumping, hair jumping. Nigga, <laughs> nigga jump on car like nigga. This is the cleanest car in all of Oakland. This nigga is dead committed to it. That's how we talk shit. So I'm in the midst of a hundred Chris Hicks's on shit talking. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. We right. all that nigga on shit talking. If you got it from the you can't even step to the corner. You can't step to a group of niggas and be heard quietly. <laughs> when I, niggas I, just talking shit. He so was as we talk the shit about. That day, nigga, we are talking, we the homies, nigga, the whole way. And I, that's what that's what it always got me about the uh the player hater song and all the shit that went on. I was like, I'm like, I don't we you could be mad, we could argue, we could be whatever. I was like, these are my homies, like motherfuckers took it, took it to this shit, like, oh man, it's a war. These rap niggas, these niggas, they, they trying to kill each other. And I was like, man, it's none of that. None of that's going on. I've never, I've never had an argument with Drew down, yuck mouth, no, we ain't never stood growling at each other and yelling, not Pooh Man, not Aunt Banks. We every time we step to each other, it's all oh, you get 100 percent respect for me, and I get it back, and we always been that way, all of us. I don't, right, I don't right. know what y'all did with each other, but right. with me, we ain't right. never had a fallout. Which is true. You feel me? The whole thing is motherfuckers was in different categories. Niggas was, you feel me? Our pedigree was different. Believe that. And especially then. You I'm going to tell you, from, from my point of view, CNH had a problem with other niggas. And then that, that carried on to what us as artists, you know what I mean, had going on. To me, and my, and my point of view. That got my shit was street shit. My shit was street shit, period. I, but at the end of the day, like, like, like let's clear, like, what, what, the elephant in the room, like, let's talk about the Summer Jam shit, like, Short had a problem with what you, your story about, not Short, but real East Oakland. Yeah, let me, let me, just, let me just run this real quick. So I'm going to just okay. take this in the room, and I'm going to say it a million times, a million times, did nobody jump Chris Hicks. Telling you, Kiki, okay. we mad at the nigga about the bitch. He bing binged it. The only dispute we ever had was who threw the two-piece. One nigga say he did it, but the nigga got two piece. Bob out. He fell down and and a nigga kicked him, probably in his face. A nigga kicked him. Bam bam and a kick. The and nigga head was cracked. The nigga head was cracked. It I'm wasn't that nigga cracked the head with a kick. Niggas was savage, bro. Like I'm telling you, I seen a lot of savageness with, with hands. The nigga head with a kick though. Unless you I got some motherfucking so, boots on. I'm telling I'm telling you my version. We got a million versions. So my version, I'm in the room. The, right. nigga got, the nigga got two pieces. Bing, bing, fell down, bam. You know what I'm saying? We walked out of that motherfucker like a nigga Keek said, uh, man, Chris named me about all that shit. He was telling us some story. We was talking about the incidents. And like, he just bam, got all emotional, hit the nigga. We walked out. It was over. We left out the fucking room, walked out the backstage, hung around backstage. We went out to the crowd, watched niggas perform, kicked it, all kind of shit. We stayed that motherfucker for a long ass time. We came up in that motherfucker. We came to that motherfucking like 20, 25 cars. Niggas didn't have no limousine, no tour buses. I had four backstage passes and got 40 niggas in. I got multiple I niggas. Had, I had the same amount of niggas though. I got multiple niggas that will tell you what we did up in that motherfucker and how we was in there. It, nigga, it was. After that, hey, 
after the show, after that shit happened, I didn't even think it was a, another show. I thought this shit was over. No, nope, kept going, going. kept going. And all type of shit about that shit. That shit happened when the sun was up. It's the shit went. The shit got ended. The, they ended it at the last two acts. They shut down forty and whatever that R and B group they had to go on right before forty. Everybody after else the, performed. After the fight happened, then that was after the fight. Man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Niggas went out of there. It was more fights out in the crowd. Like out in the crowd, it was so much shit going on. Nigga, I went to the front of the stage. Nigga, I got so many niggas that was with me. Sat in the front of the stage, watching niggas perform. I don't know who the fuck is. I think we saw an R and B group. I don't know who the fuck it was. Nigga, nobody was running. Nobody was chasing. Everybody, was nobody. Yeah, we definitely got two different stories then. That's security, security I'm, wasn't trying to chase nobody down. None of that shit happened. Lionel B. Me. The promoters walked us up in that motherfucker. They would, nigga, they would never. They said they shut the shit down because they were scared of us. That's what I'm saying. After that fight, shit shut down. I don't see nothing else, no performances or nothing. That shit was shut down. You feel me? And that shit was in the paper. I'm going to tell you what else. I'm going to tell you, I'm give you some more detail because we was watching the show and my nigga Too Clean, he talking loud as fuck, just like Chris. Too Clean kept yelling. It ain't no motherfucking show without short. We ain't no blah, blah, blah. But you can't really understand what Too Clean be saying because he be drunk and he talk that, he talk real not clear. So somebody from the staff took that shit as like threats. Like, man, these niggas, we was in the front front of the crowd, like probably like we had dispersed all like 40 man crew into like two, two, two batches of 20, like moving around separate now. The whole crew that was with me, we went to the front of the stage Watch the fucking show. When the show was over, we walked up on the stage, walked through the backstage, walked up to our cars. Nigga, this, this I, 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 Summer Jam, when the loonies performed, Summer Jam, when the motherfucking 40 was supposed to headline, Summer Jam, when they shut the shit down early, that Summer Jam was in 1995. Yeah, man. I, yeah, we, we I have got never been chased to a car in my entire life, ever. Hey, look, look, hold on, my fault. I ain't never ran to a car. Hold on. Listen, this is what I'm saying is when when I'm not saying you was running from me, I'm saying when I opened the door to come get Chris, because the first time he didn't make it, motherfucker was bringing him like that. You feel me? Like the nigga was a rag doll. They was bringing him to come holler in that little little room y'all was in. I jumped in front of the motherfucker like, man, give me my nigga and walked him back. You feel me? Because we was at a standoff with the park and all them. You feel me? This was back then. You feel me? Motherfucker was at a standoff because of you and the player hater song. You feel me? It was because of that. And guess so what else? It probably was a whole. So if us five here, hey, 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 if hey, five hey, of us, hey, wait, look, yeah, hey, if five of us walked hey, into hey, a hey, room hey, to not, talk nigga. to Chris, if five of us went in the room to talk to Chris, we left thirty-five niggas right outside the door. So whatever right, y'all, right. whatever life y'all had out there, I don't know that story. I don't know what happened with the 35 right. niggas that was out there and the 35 niggas that was with you. I don't know what y'all words was. I know what that we right. walked out that motherfucker, uh, took the our goddamn door. time, walked out to the crowd. We didn't go, nigga, it was, we kicked it. Kicked it. I, I, all I know is the show was over. You feel me? And what I do know, when I opened that door, niggas went out the back. You feel me? Motherfucker was hopping, skipping. Niggas wasn't doing no walking. Niggas was out that door like, boom. You feel me? It wasn't because of me. You feel me? It just, like, see here, it was cracked. So if motherfucker two-piece and he was going down, he must have hit his head on something. Because niggas ain't kicking motherfuckers' heads open. You feel me, what I'm saying? That just so happened. Chris didn't get no stitches or nothing after that. He didn't get no stitches. He wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't binged up like that, man. That nigga, nigga, that nigga walked out. Nigga, I told that nigga to stay in the room. That nigga walked out with his head wrapped like a a, a, a rap nigga was full of blood. Hey, see, I, that's the part. I was in there. I always felt like that shit was drama. That shit was the extra sold out story. The radio station sold that story about we jumped him and all that shit. That my shit. thing is this. Let me tell my side yeah. of the story. We <laughs> on stage, nigga, performing with Richie Rich. <laughs> We don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then, see, they has got this big ass buff ass bodyguard named Meech. Now, we like, Meech is on stage with us. So that's how CNA's got caught slipping. He usually be with Meech. Meech uh, fight a thousand niggas, right, Short? Mm hmm. He on stage bodyguarding us. That was so my guy, too. That was my guy, too, though. 
Yeah. Mace. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It was so more big Mace, so not big Mace from BMF. We talking about bodyguard Mace. Oh no, yeah, yeah. That was that was the guy. Yeah, yeah. so boom, Mace on stage with us. So they got C by itself. So we perform it. Why you wanna? No, we, can't, play, we can't do himself. player hater because that we has agreed not to do player hater, right? So we couldn't do player hater. So we perform and we do five on the Richie Rich on stage and then drama go down. You know what I mean? We hearing a lot of shit on the side of the stage. So the show stopped. So we all run to the side of the stage. Hater, though. I thought y'all huh? did player hater and that started some shit. Okay, so, so you did it. No, it wasn't, what, what, that, had, that had nothing to do with it. That had nothing to do with it. No, nah, we ain't do no player hater, my nigga. I was on the... I, I, I pulled up. Like, now, Lionel B's my connect. I got the... I'm talking to the promoter. We ain't do no motherfucking player hater, bro, because it was agreed for... KML said we couldn't do player hater. So we didn't do player hater. Uh, I pulled up in that motherfucker with zero hostility. I said to them, to Lionel B, I'm talking to them niggas real civilized, like, bro, the loonies... All of us, nigga, we from the same. We we just, nigga, ain't no ain't no war going on out here. And there's a rumor that there's this fucking war. And I'm like, the best way to me to deal with that Bay Area is to tell the Bay, nigga, we all love ones. Nigga, we talk shit on whatever. We love ones. I wanted that shit to happen. The shit we did on the radio station that day. I wanted that shit to happen in front and of the you. And you called that shot, sure. You know how to call that Final shot. Me, I said, man, just I said before they end their show. All I want to do, just walk out there and say the loonies and two sure I got love for each other. Don't say nothing else. Just say that. And the motherfuckers is all this scared and shit. And I'm like, you know, it's some town business shit that a lot of motherfuckers can't understand. Nigga, we, they, they wouldn't let it happen. Y'all came off stage. Now, first and foremost, the loonies is coming off stage. I don't know if it was you or not, nigga. Niggas that was with me was like, nigga, y'all is my first cousin. That's my cousin. Like, you know, family. Like, what nobody finna jump nobody? What nobody finna fight nobody? That was never going to happen, ever. Y'all walked straight to me and P.O. and everybody we was with and said, what's up, loved one? And we talked. No, y'all had love for us. As soon as you got to had love talk. for us, bro. All right. Definitely. I ain't going to lie, though. Not, even I, Drew. I, Drew wasn't caught in the phone. Nigga, right, CNH nigga. was funny. CNH was, come on, man. Let's address the elephant in the room, man. So CNH, when it came to the stage, I said, I said, I said, I said, let me holler at Chris. Let me holler at Chris. Let me holler at Chris. And we was. It was just gonna be a moment. The shit would have went right. It could have been Chris could have put all of us in the room. We'd be like, niggas love. I just wanted the moment, nigga. And Kiki jumped the gun with the mad about Chris told the brother, you know, you fucking with that fake nigga. Okay. That was Keith personal shit. Always was that way. And it, it seemed like that. That's a whole point. And How even even if it still would have went down anyway, without that reason for Keith, like it still would have escalated to that. That's why it really happened. That nigga was like. That nigga, that nigga had been, man, I, I see, I'm, I got to take y'all back a little bit. Before Summer Jam, Kiki had been trying to fight Chris. He been running up, trying to swing on Chris and do shit. He been. Uh, no, no, fuck I been trying to. Here. It's been demo tapes. It happened at picnics and barbecues. It's been fun, period. Hey, I know this shit. I'm right there. I don't know what nigga's talking about, nigga. I'm right there. You niggas, you feel me? It's all different breeds, man. You feel me? The whole point is, nigga, nigga say it wasn't all this other shit, but it really was. But y'all wasn't really seeing it because y'all was doing what y'all do. You feel me? As far as artists and shit, even though I was one, but I was in the mix. You feel me? Because of uh, Chris. This, this the, it's the, it's the bottom line. Yeah. At all times, when you put up on these town niggas, me, me, me included. It was multiple motherfucking pistols. It was multiple niggas with already like rep uh, re reputations, nigga, for what it would be. And niggas, yeah. you don't underestimate nobody and you motherfucking be on your toes at all times. So I don't, nigga, I know everybody had that thing. That was a yeah. high, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a motherfucking war zone at the, at the moment that everybody was involved in, nigga. I wouldn't pump gas without a motherfucking uh, one in the chamber in a fucking Glock. I wouldn't pump gas, nigga, at 2 p.m. Without a thing on me back then, <laughs> real. I, I wasn't doing it as a gangster nigga. I was doing it as out of fear, nigga. Like <laughs> nigga, like nigga, I'm trying to, I'm trying to live scared. in this city, nigga, for real. Yeah, that yeah. shit. If you said that shit wasn't scary, nigga, that motherfucking town, nigga, it was like zombies, nigga. I ain't talking about dope fiend zombies. Niggas was walking the street looking to kill niggas, nigga. A whole lot of niggas with with expert tactics, nigga. Like I'm gonna get the nigga like this, like nigga. I'm a, you know, niggas was, yeah. was sleep, sleeping right. niggas, nigga. Niggas yeah. are experts, niggas, niggas like uh, Fat Dave and shit. Niggas are experts at catching niggas. 
<laughs> a whole bunch of niggas was, you know? Hello? Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then we yeah, all was saying. My, stand, thing, go ahead, my go ahead. thing was, I was, like Shore said, like Drew said, I was a little nigga looking in, so I didn't have the insight. I never, like I told Short, I didn't know what was the real inner circle problem. I never knew. You know what I mean? Period. So when shit was going down, you know what I mean? On CNH, and CNH getting caught up at different fucking events and getting beat up and shit. We CNH rappers, you know what I mean? So that's when Numb came with the, you know what I mean? The shit on Player Hater or whatnot, because we we the rappers. But at the beginning, we told CNH, he'd tell you this from the Rick. When I rap for the nigga, I said, introduce us to Too Short, nigga. You baby Jesus, nigga. Introduce us to Too Short. He was like, nah, I got my own record label. I'm going to put y'all out on my shit. I got an artist named Drew down. Y'all come to the studio the next day. So the whole, he ain't tell you, nigga. The whole spiel was like, nigga, don't you know Too Short? You baby Jesus, nigga. I rap. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Church, nigga. I'm a groove like a motherfucker. So that was a whole motherfucker from the rip to introduce us to Too Short. The next day, I introduced to you, and I'm rapping, and it's like, ah, this thing got a problem because he got rappers. You know what I mean? So, right, so let's, let's, get into that. Let's, let's get into that part. I want, I want to talk about Pooh Man and some other shit too, man. But that part is okay. So, niggas is like, Ted starts this trend, like Mark said, of dope dealers wanting to invest in rappers. So, Bruce did it. Bunch of niggas did Alleg it. Right? Allegedly. Did Jed did it. Allegedly, nobody nobody did it before. Dean Hodges did it before. Like nobody, nobody, when niggas seen, when niggas seen us win with Freaky Tales. Hey, the new shit is Novalad TV, man. Novalad TV. Yada. Hey, but you know, we, we nigga, have you ever seen um have you ever seen um uh, uh Planet Rock? Planet Rock on VH1. That's the relationship. It's a it's a documentary about the no relationship. Bas no Vaseline. <laughs> The relationship between crack cocaine and rap music, nigga. I, you can't find a nigga, an empire that didn't get started off, off of fucking drugs, drug sales, nigga. That's that's period point blank. That's what there we get. That's, they, nobody has a different story. So, <laughs> basically, so basically, T has started a trend of dope dealers investing in rappers. That's how the shit, that's what the independent scene about the Bay is all about, nigga. That's what we about. And uh, Bruce. That nigga name was Ted Bohemian. <laughs> Ted Bohama. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ted Bohama. I don't know what that nigga name was, but Ted Bohama, something like that. TB. No. Hey. Ted Bohama, man. Yeah, nigga, respect that nigga, man. That nigga's a hustler, man. A real hustler. That nigga taught me a lot in this game, nigga. So. Yeah, yeah. I, you feel me? Right there. You feel me? I know, I, I know the whole get down, but I wasn't there when, you feel me, when Ted uh, uh, got you short. You feel me? But I know uh, the whole goddamn get down. Jed, I know motherfuckers. Jed and Richie Rich. Come on now, nigga. It was all over the town, nigga. The, 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 yeah. the, 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 so what I was doing was... All right. Be, beyond that, elephant in the room, man. I'm just talking like about, about finding niggas and shit. Just like we... No, I'm not I'm not stopping you, bro. Just like uh we did on, 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 on after the summer jam, man. It ain't no beef, nigga. Too my, Short is my OG. Drew Down is my OG. <laughs> Niggas do interviews and we reflect on shit, man. Don't that's just that point of time. That don't mean we got beat. You I'm know what I mean? So story, I just want to interact that now. Tell, story, tell, us, tell our old school tales. We just telling our stories. It yeah. ain't like, you know what I mean? We hey, so our peep, our the game. peep the game, y'all. Peep the game. So basically, I got niggas like Chris around, you know, Ted and Jed is like tight in the motherfucker. Me and Richie Rich tight. We're not. We're not coming in this game talking about me and Ted and Dangerous Music finna sign every nigga and we finna be this motherfucking big label of the Bay. We look at this shit more like if the homie Chris or the homie Jay want to get in the game, give the nigga the game. Let the right. nigga what we doing. That's the kind of shit a nigga was thinking. Like, you don't, I wasn't thinking, let me own everybody. Yeah. Nigga, oh, this gonna be big. We gonna own the Bay. We gonna sign there. Nah, nigga, I'm, if you would've came to me and you would've had the fun, then it'd be like short. How y'all do that shit? I'd have gave you and the nigga you with the game, the recipe. And that's how it was getting down, nigga. That's how we all got on our own hustle. That's how Hold up. I saw all that shit was going down. When Bruce got knocked down, it was like some real street shit, nigga, like some real honor of the street code. Bruce was a friend of mine. Pooh Man and Ann Banks was his artist. Them niggas didn't really have a way. 
in the game after the money went down. Nigga, I stepped in like, nigga, come on, join up. It wasn't even nothing more and nothing less, nigga. Gave the niggas a new outlet because they was dope as fuck. And, and, uh, and my nigga got knocked down. So you know what I'm saying? We wasn't on that fucking like, everybody gotta be with us shit. But if you notice, niggas that came and fuck with me got record deals, nigga. I got everybody. I got everybody. Now, I listen back to the story told sometime about how short didn't want to fuck with nobody and how short they put, nigga, I put everybody who, any nigga could come close. I indirectly helped your situation because I'm telling you, we gave Chris the recipe. Like, go do this. Right. And he did I it. I told you. I, I ain't never said short didn't help us. Chris did it better than everybody else. We, we got thought short look. was hating on us, nigga. Because of the situation with the, that y'all had going on, my nigga. We never said short didn't help us, nigga. Drew Down first album was made by in your studio with Aunt Banks, nigga. So no, when I first met you, it's in your studio, nigga, with CNH. So it wasn't that. Y'all had some situations going down with CNH, and we felt like, damn, we thought that nigga, okay, pool man, you got motherfucking uh all the niggas on the label. We like nigga. And let me tell you, the next niggas on the label. Him, so let me tell you how much motherfuckers be mad at Chris. This is how much niggas be mad at Chris. Y'all make the song player hater, and the whole crew is instantly mad at Chris. Ain't nobody mad at y'all. They like niggas Chris fault. Chris could have said, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but facts. But the the niggas, 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 niggas is just mad at him. him. We Chris could have been, been a, 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 a low-key nigga. Kept, it's a reason that niggas kept getting mad at him, and a lot of motherfuckers already know that reason. You feel he, me? Because he was balling and showing off and clean and getting money and, and, and bragging too much. No, <laughs> man, let, 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 let's, let's address the elephant in the room. Since you want to talk about shit like that, Chris can do it. But nah, niggas, since y'all want to talk about, about since y'all want to talk about dope dealers, nigga, let's not act like CNH was a sucker, nigga. That was nigga. His name is CNH for a reason, nigga. Exactly. He was a boy, boy, nigga. Yeah, oh, boy. All the toys having everything, yeah. He everything. was a boy, nigga. I, let's not get it fucked up, nigga. The only yeah, thing CNH right. did, man, I'm telling you, like he he was he was really like too good for you know what I'm saying. He, the nigga was. He shouldn't have been. If he been low key nigga, buying work for him in the drought, and I turned. He would have been a low key nigga. His re his reputation would be okay. totally different. That's how I met C and A. My nigga knew the game of low key. Buying powder, he had powder, powder nigga. Pure cane sugar. He had powder, nigga. Not no rock up. That's how I met C and A. Buying work from this nigga. He was the real first ice cream man before I made the song, nigga. Yeah. Definitely. That's how we connected. You feel me? That's how we connected. You feel me? In a real Allegedly. <laughs> hey. Allegedly. <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga had a he had a lot of run-ins away from everybody. And he had a lot of situations where niggas kept fucking with him. He kept bouncing back uh on top, stayed on top, but he had a lot of niggas was fucking with him because because they just, you know what I'm saying, niggas was just yeah, when they catch him by itself, though, you feel me? Because I wasn't even going for that shit. You feel me? We wasn't playing that shit. I don't think he was around, wasn't going for it, but I'm telling you, Chris caught a lot of shit. Nobody can't dispute it. Uh, yeah, you did. Nick I caught a lot of black out there, and that, to me, I ain't, it, ain't, it ain't my place to judge my nigga. But at the same time, he would have been a different nigga, low key. That's all I'm saying. A lot of let's, ad let's address the elephant not in the room, because this, this is what the niggas going to ask in the chat room. <laughs> Has it ever been a competition between Drew and, and and Too Short about who's the the biggest Mac or who's the biggest pimp? Man, come on, man. Short got it a hands down. You feel me? But I was in the motherfucking streets. I tell you that. Man, <laughs> we got a thing in the town, man. We got a thing in the town, nigga. When you when you got the hottest record out that's moving around the bay, you that nigga. And yeah. all of us have had that moment in life where you where you you the king of the bay for the moment for a while. And we know that that pimp of the year, nigga, that motherfucker beat the shit out of motherfuckers for a whole long. It beat niggas oh. so long, like five on it, it never went away. Right. It's, it's timeless, right. nigga. And I, you know what I'm saying? And true. I'm gonna give you nigga to your motherfucking face, nigga. I'm gonna tell you like this, nigga. When you was making the album, mm -hmm. niggas and Banks, I, I feel like Chris gave Banks the low low budget or something. He was he was rushing you. He wasn't letting a nigga. Exactly. He That's was like, exactly nigga, I don't got a lot of time. Here go all your 10 beats, rap to these beats, come on, let's go, let's go. And the nigga probably like, y'all recorded it and mixed the whole shit in probably like five, six, seven days. Come on. The whole, the whole album. That's how we were moving. So, 
I, the part I want to say is when the motherfucking pimp of the year came out and the, the shit did what it did and the album and the status and the fuck and the fucking fact that the song lasted forever. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. You can't do nothing but give a nigga respect for like pulling that shit off under them conditions. So yeah. I don't know if you yeah. ever worked under them conditions, yuck, but a nigga like had time restraints. <laughs> like I, I heard a nigga talk about, I'm like, I was there, the nigga Banks was like, nigga. And we did a lot of niggas like that too, man. You weren't special on that one. We did a lot of niggas <laughs> like niggas. Get in that, get in that. Got a record. Niggas show got a record. Nigga, y'all gotta get the fuck up. It was, it was, it was, it was mean as fuck, nigga. Like, get in that booth, nigga. You ain't got a lot of time to be in that fucking closet. Like, nigga. Hey, that's, nigga how, that's, how, that's how Pac was. That's how that nigga Pac was. He didn't like playing. That nigga didn't like playing at all. Uh, I was mad as fuck. fuck. I was my, mad as fuck. The way I came up with the big homie, man, it was all town shit, nigga. It was really town shit. And that's how you, you was. In, in any position, you say it levels. In any position, nigga, that's how you play that shit, nigga. That's how you do this shit, nigga. Towned up, nigga, like you. It's extra. It's real. It's fucking got to be saucy. You got to be like in your lingo, nigga. You got to like, you know what I'm saying? And you got to be able to walk in 7-Eleven by yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you, can't, if you can't do that, something ain't right. So let's yeah. clear the air, man. We all players, you know what I mean? Fuck them up, uh, oh, you know what I mean? Whatever was up, that shit took down anyway. Um. Real yeah, niggas fuck, in Oakland fuck, fuck, alert. That shit, Real nigga. niggas in the Bay Area alert. We all <laughs> homeboys, my nigga. You know the what I mean? Time. And we all nigga. got history attached to each other. We got so songs when we, when we tell them time. stories, you know what I mean? Don't think it's beef or drama. You know, you know how many motherfucking stages we've been on together? How many bills and shows we done did together? Right. How I smoke weed? I don't need you each other I albums said, and shit and all type of shit. Drew, right. when I, Drew, when how I many different you, cities we done pushed up in together, niggas? When I, when when I, I talk right. to you on the phone today, what I say? I say, nigga, we done been on tour with shorts, so motherfucking nigga. This nigga lived I in my mean, house. Come on. <laughs> God, hey, I didn't stay in that nigga house, nigga. Let Come on, it, man. Let me do it. Let me do a disclaimer. <laughs> Short was the nigga that put us on to the new retro scene because this nigga bringing me out to do five on it while nigga numb locked in jail on yeah, on right. stage, nigga at the big ass arenas, nigga. Yeah, so yeah. salute, yeah. He put us. Yeah. Then they start booking us yeah, and booking you right. down. <laughs> Yeah, yep. so show, yep. yeah, show been a gatekeeper to all this shit, man. We gotta give him his roses and his flowers, right, nigga. Period, I, nigga. I, I, I'm gonna like say it out my too. mouth. He put the whole bay on, nigga. Not just us, nigga. The whole bay on. Period. And look, 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 look. Nuts. like I'm saying, like I'm, cool like I'm telling the motherfucking universe or the world or whatever. You feel me? Gonna be listening to this shit, and I respect short to the fullest, nigga. You feel me? On on some real shit. That was then, nigga. This is now. And we still mobbing, man. We still doing exactly what we've hey. been doing back in them days, nigga. Town still... taught, taught us how to walk in the room, nigga, and act like can't nobody fuck with me. <laughs> that's 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 shit, nigga. Nigga walking that motherfucker. I, I, hey, I, I wish I could uh, have one of these powwows with my nigga Chris, man. Chris, me and Chris got we got history away from away from everybody, nigga. Like some 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 some, some, some uh some real player shit we was doing, nigga. That nigga came and got me on my birthday, nigga. Uh, we had we was at a party, nigga. It's my motherfucking birthday, and the nigga was like, "Let's go, um, let's go ride in this limo." Riding a limo, we ain't one of Daddy G limos, nigga. Uh, uh, uh. We in the limo, man. nigga. The the Fair driver, the, the driver's a bad bitch. Uh, the nigga, the, it's me, CNH. He just be like, "Bro, let's, let's bust to the store or something." something. We left the party. That uh, nigga tell the driver pull over. The bitch jump in the back and suck all our dicks. <laughs> we go, and, we, and we go back to the party, nigga. That was CNH, nigga. <laughs> Classic <laughs> West Coast moments on Smoke A Lot Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Limo driver, bitch jumped in the back, pretty than a motherfucker, suck, nigga, suck the nuts out of everybody. And, all right, back to the party. Let's go. In the li <laughs> in the limb blow zine. Nigga, in the, <laughs> <back door. laughs> the limb blow zine. Not Hey, okay. man, it's all love show. Now, yeah, motherfucker, Drew Dale, man, thanks for tapping in, man. Let's clear the air, man. It's real town business. We love each other. We fuck with each other the long way. No Frank Ocean, nigga. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> no Ocean Spray. No Ocean Spray. No ocean spray. Hey, yeah, before, yeah. I, I got to shout out Pooh, man. Yo, Pooh, man came home, man. Pooh home. I fuck with Pooh real tough now, you know? Hey, nigga, uh -huh. Pooh, man, a real village, nigga. That nigga name was Pooh, man, before he was a rapper, nigga. He was my OG. My, he raised me in the bill, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew him before he was a rapper. All right, yeah, all right, he, we, he was still, right. what was his name? Before he was a rapper, too short. I just know Pooh, the nigga name was Pooh. I just know Pooh Man. And there was a nigga in the bill named Candy Man. 
So it was Cool Man yeah, and Candy yeah, Man, nigga. Yeah, yeah, nigga, off top. You me? I, I, that was S and V. We was H and V, nigga. That's when we all grew up together. I'm a 15th down, yeah. 15th down from the Ville, nigga. We all used to just fight all the time. Nigga, Candy Man, the Skinners, love them to death. Yeah, nigga. the Candy uh, Man. Uh, you know what I'm talking uh, about, nigga. Yeah, Real nigga, mindset. Uh, uh, nigga, uh, the uh, Sellers, the face, Sellers, face, the Sellers, Scar Michael face. Sellers, nigga. Michael yeah, Sellers was face. on the news, nigga. I did, yeah, I did a lot of I did a lot of seminary, man. But I, I mostly was like like Elizabeth kind of nigga, like keep it down by Elizabeth, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Over that way. Went, you know, you know my 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 village stories, nigga. I went to Fremont High, nigga. So I went yeah, to I school. Know. I went to school with Black. Black was in school with me same years, and then motherfucking uh, D came to Fremont. Uh -huh. He came tenth grade when I was in twelfth grade. Hold on. Mm. So was D a millionaire when he came to high school? Because I heard I heard. Uh, I ain't gonna say the nigga name, but I heard the nigga got caught with a million in his locker, man. The nigga, <laughs> hey, the nigga came to school, 10th grade, first day of school. He came with a gold rope on, a little gold rope, and on that gold rope had all class rings. You know, you gotta be a 12th grade to get a class ring. The, on day one, 10th grade, he showed up probably like 15 class rings on a rope. Like, nigga, <laughs> whatever that statement oh, yeah, was, like, that's what he wore first day of school, 15 class rings. <laughs> Around the rope chain. And, 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 and that photo oh, seven three candy burgundy thing. Oh, he used to get a uh, niggas used to drive to school in, in, a, in a in a glass house Chevy. Mm -hmm. they, they would they would probably it'd be like three or four cars. He would get out, they would walk the nigga to the school, like, like a gangster mob, walk the nigga in the class. The first week, the first week in 10th grade, they randomly beat the shit out of a bunch of niggas and said, anybody <laughs> this little nigga, that's what you're gonna get. Like they, that, that nigga had a, he had 20 niggas waiting on him, probably more than that, at lunchtime every day. Mm -hmm. Like nigga was protected, nigga. I remember the nigga before he got to Fremont though, he had a, he was a, a gang, a, a mob leader like before he got there. Like nigga, mm -hmm. short, they was little short niggas, like 50 deep, nigga, oh, grown ass men, you be like, man, here come them niggas, damn. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, that nigga was a problem, nigga, for yeah, real. I'm gonna yeah. tell you who my nigga was from y'all hood, yeah. Uh, Yogi was my nigga, nigga. Yo, that's my, was my nigga, nigga, Yogi nigga, 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 nigga. Yo, I mean, yeah. you know, uh, Ricky Jeter, that, that's fam, bam, but Ricky Jeter, come on, man, you like you lame and legendary niggas, bro. Yeah, yeah. I went to free yeah. my high shit. I, I went to school with all the niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Did Hammer go to school with you, bro? Hammer, uh, I think Hammer went to McLean. He didn't go to school in West Oakland. He went to Fremont. If he did, yeah, Hammer that nigga didn't go to Fremont. He's he a little older than me, though. He would have been. He would have been. I got you. Got to check out Wikipedia. See how old is Hammer? He probably went to Tech or something, nigga. On but your all, ass. All his homies went to school with me. All the High Street Bank boys. They was yeah. all up there. The, the niggas who I seen with him after he blew up, and then Wee Wee and all the niggas. They was around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and let niggas know before we get out of here, man. New York niggas like Hammer. Yeah. You heard you, you ain't you ain't popping in New York. Oh man, Detroit say you Hammer <laughs> was whooping niggas ass on tour. Man. <laughs> nigga yeah, Joe I mean, Mack at nigga Joe Mack at the phone booth. Make you say, oh, it's God. <laughs> well, blessing me with a Montaron and two high feet. Oh shit. These is the beach you can't touch. Quotable diaper yeah. pants. Them hammer lyrics. <laughs> Come on, man. He says music hit him so hard, make you say, oh my God. Thank you uh, for blessing me with a mind to rhyme and two high feet. Ooh, hey man, he you up, and that's what he did to the game. Two them feet. He fucked hey. you up with the portable, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, smoke a lot radio, nigga. We does this. Man, <laughs> smoke a lot radio. Hey, nigga, hey, man, never been business, man. No legendary in the game. Sound business, man. Hey, man. No, I ain't man. never quoted no hammer bar. One of those. Hey man, we were some fools back in the day, bro. You ain't gonna never lie about that. Nigga, we had MC Hammer, nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's so acting like you didn't know the nigga. Like, we yeah, know, yeah. know that. That was dope. I mean, when you it's think back on it, though, we had, we had the Hammer, nigga. That was the town, nigga. Right. The hammer right. was right. hurting them. Right. They don't get Hammer in the flowers. That's what they said. Please, right. Hammer, don't hurt them. He was right. 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 Please, right. Hammer, don't hurt them. That's what they said. Y'all niggas wasn't listening. Don't hurt him. <laughs> you wasn't playing records later. You wasn't listening. Hey, the coldest one, though, was Puffs in the bump. Hey, <laughs> this nigga. Hey, this nigga oh that, hey, didn't dance through the track? No. This nigga Hammer had bodyguards before he had fans, before he even had 
The nigga had an entourage and bodyguard before he even had hit records. Right, right, right. Fuck out of here. He was hey, mobbing like a real celebrity when he first started, nigga. Cause he was famous from dancing and shit. The nigga was yeah. famous from him and Ace used to be dancing. They had, they had hoes, nigga. Them niggas, they had fans from that. And then he said, I'm the hammer the rapper. And the nigga instantly just had like an entourage and instantly had like four bodyguards and like nigga just pulling up deep. So, like, so, like, so, so that's when they put him in the mix. He put himself in the mix. Oh hell. That nigga put himself in the mix. That's that nigga, so they put me in the mix. Hey, when he talk like Hammer, you gotta look like that nigga when you talk I'm using his bar. I'm using his song. He, he told the story. The nigga said you look like I'm in a coat while you bullshit. <laughs> when you so talking like oh, the Oakland like, coat. Oh no, when he when he when the, I just I never wear biker shorts. I might wear the coat, but I won't wear the biker shorts. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm about to bust up out of here, man. Hey, right. got the crew some nice jack. Yeah, we go, man. Man, we gonna end this shit, man. Smoke a lot radio, man. Let's do our sponsor right quick before we oh, get up shit. out of here, man. Uh -huh. Rapper Fish Cradium, man. You gotta give it up for our only sponsor, man, till we get some more sponsors, man. But we bother, <laughs> you feel me? Rapper Fish Cradium, man. Let's go with the speed out and get the speed out. You feel oh, me? Man, on my mind. I'm gonna get love to show. I'm gonna get love to motherfucking Drew Down for tapping in for Smoke a lot radio. Nigga, real mob talk, real Oakland talk, real town business. Let's go. Good Let's go. Rapper Fish Cradium, the leap brand tearing up. My nigga, nigga, my nigga, man. Competition with this one love, short. I know, for I the cradle oh, game is popping off and see why for yourself. It's been medicinally used for hundreds of years in Southeast Asia. Kratom interacts with the dopamine receptors in your Bye. brain to help it release distress and pain Bye. without interrupting your day to day Bye. activities. Active Kratom users swear by this natural power bah. to help them thrive in life without having to rely on painkillers or bah. other stimulants. Rapper Kush Kratom takes pride in offering the top quality bah, 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 whether you need bah, bah, for pain, bah. relief, or general mood boost. Rapper Kush Kratom, the only brand that makes you say, yeah, 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 yeah,